Check out this beautiful display here. Love it. What a great water display. Hi everyone, George here and today I am at Maidenhead Aquatics at Wilton in Hampshire and I've done an aquascaping workshop here in the store and I just wanted to show you that but I also wanted to show you around the shop. It's a lovely little shop, uh, some great livestock. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick tour while I'm here. So enjoy the journey. So they have a really impressive hardscape selection here. We've got some lovely Redmore roots, uh, different sizes of bogwood. In fact, this is the stuff I used in my scape, which I'll show you later. Uh, some more bogwood, different sizes again. Some spider wood or azalea roots. And then even more good wood here, vine wood. And more azalea root by the look of it. Some more smaller bogwood. Barnacle clusters, red more roots, lots of different different types of stone. Got some nice mini landscape rock there, some dragon stone. Let's just walk in the store. So this is a tank that's going to be scaped by Dan Harris, another UK aquascaper. He's going to scape this tomorrow. And here's what I did earlier. So EA Freshwater 900 from Evolution Aqua and then that's a classic kind of low maintenance, low energy George Farmer classic scape. Loads of crypts, loads of Anubias, Spooker Philandra attached to the wood, Java ferns there, more crypts. But we'll have a, a deeper dive on that later, I'll just show you around the, the shop and look at some beautiful fish. So starting off in the kind of cold water subtropical section, we've got loads of goldfish, danios, platys, good old white cloud mountain minnows. Now these are cool. Hovering zebra loaches. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. The striped fish, really cool. Black neon tetras, classics. Got some sort of bread and butter tetras now. Ow, Moncosia costi. Boom. Epic. These are some of my favourite fish of all time. They just show so well. Doesn't really do them justice in this little tank, but if you uh, saw them in a big plant, the tank look absolutely stunning. Uh, more tetras, uh, silver tips and serpies. Here's some of my favourite glow lights, which I keep at home in a black water setup. Uh, sparkling garamis in here, it's cool. Pretty tetras. Some tiny neons. <laughs> Cute. Uh, just a load of classics, old oh, green neon tetras. There you go, beautiful. And then we've got a soft water section now. So this is dedicated section to soft water fish. It's on a different water system, so it only has a uh, really soft water. We've got a variety of tetras again, cardinals. We've got some cichlids, festives. Excuse the reflections, guys. And then a load of live bearers. And then we've got here rainbow fish. Really good quality fish, all well fed. This is the event uh, from today. Got a load of African cichlids over here. And now they've actually got a marine section as well. So, oh, before we go over there, let's have a look at these shrimp. Awesome. Really nice, colorful cherry shrimp in here. It's a mixture of shrimps, actually. We've got marnos. I think I saw some crystal reds as well. 
So here, just go and look at some marine fish. There we are, sugar fish and a clown. Beautiful. Any marine keepers out there? Let me know in the comments. Do you keep a reef tank? Bangai Cardinals, lovely. Got a tang as well. Brown sailfin tang, beautiful. Got some rasses. Oh, some of my favourite, green chromis. Love these guys. Yellow tang. And a real kind of nice, healthy selection of marine fish. These are beautiful, aren't they? Shot silk gobies. Beautiful. We've got a scarlet hawkfish at the bottom there, just on a runner. There you go. Uh, no pressure. What fish are you getting? Lionfish that eats flake. Oh, nice. If you look on our Facebook at Wilton, you actually get to see this little monkey eating flake, That's which beautiful, is phenomenal. Do you have to be super careful when you're catching lionfish? I'd recommend to be very careful. Of course, the dorsal spines are quite poisonous. So what do you do? What precautions do you take? A lot of breathing. <laughs> and make sure that I'm keeping an eye on the other two as well. Okay. Because otherwise, if they creep up on you, it's not particularly, it doesn't feel nice. So next thing you know, just grab your hand, put it in there. Yeah. Very hot water, and it's not particularly fun. This is a Volatans lion, is it? No, this no. is a fuzzy dwarf. I was going to say, it's beautiful coloration. It's a stunner. Yeah. Are you going to get it out now then? Shall we watch you? Uh, here it goes now. Nice corals here, super, super healthy. The TMC aqua ray lighting, while I look at it. Finish room, I can get them out there like that. We have got moises. Some SPS frags. But the feeders are usually a lot better. It's only the frags that leak it. Not even the tiny clowns, nothing else. Go, go, all right, go ahead. Busy today in the shop. So let's talk a bit more in detail about the, the scape that we created earlier today. So starting with the substrate, this is JBL Volcano Mineral, one bag of uh, nine litres of that, and then we've got three nine litre bags of the JBL Pro Soil Brown. And then we put the wood in, this is bog wood, I've got four pieces all together. And the idea was to position them so it gave the effect of one larger piece. So, uh, no stones in this one, just relying on the wood and the plants to create the, the whole scope. And plant wise, and you can see there, loads of crypts. I think there's five or six different species of crypts. We've got uh, Novellii, Wendertii, Green, Brown. Uh, undulatus, um, red, I think, and then epiphyte plant wise, we've got Anubius, Bonsai, uh, Bucophilandra, Thea, and standard Java fern, Microsorum, Terapus. Uh, taller crypts in the back, we have uh, Cryptocorani balansi, that's going to really accentuate the triangular effect. So. Obviously we're starting off taller in the right and the balance side is going to grow over, arch over the scape. 
go ahead. Thank you. And yeah, and the great thing is about Crips, they're all low low light tolerant. So even though the the Balancei will be shading plants underneath, those plants are absolutely going to be fine with the shade. So also got some moss in there. Did, um, just wedged some pieces of taxophyllum spiky. Just literally wedged it in the in the cracks there in the wood. That, that will gradually take over and cling to the wood and create a really nice effect. So the, the tank itself is a EA Freshwater 900, so it's three foot long, 90 centimetres long, 50 centimetres front to back or 20 inches, and then it's actually 24 inches tall or 90 centimetres. So it's about 250 litres, so what's that, about 60, between 60 and 65 gal gallons. Um, filtration wise we have um, the, I forget the brand name, Ocean Free Hydro Pure Technology, I think it's called, it's called the Hydra, I forget the model number, but it's a nice capacity external filter, I think the flow rate is about 15, 1400 or 1500 litres per hour. So we're looking at about six times turnover or so. But it's a nice display. It's a triangular layout, classic triangular, and it's sort of viewed as you walk in the shop. It's kind of one of the first tanks you see. And yeah, just a nice showcase, I think. Cabinet is the, the trim is the raw concrete gray, which is a very popular finish at the moment. And here you can see the Evolution Aqua kind of catalog of cabinet finishes, so something for all tastes, I would say. Okay guys, that's it for me for this video. Thanks so much for watching um, the little shop tour of Maynard and Aquatics at Wilton. Thanks so much to their staff here for looking after me and letting me aquascape a EA Freshwater 900 for them. I can't wait to see it mature and see see it in a few months time hopefully so quick question for you guys you can probably guess what it is what fish would you stock in that ea freshwater 900 we've got a little uh, guy in there keeping the video i think his mum and dad are calling him it's funny so uh yeah what fish would you stock in that ea freshwater 900 let me know in the comments you take care keep on scaping cheerio